When you think of New York, you probably think of views like this. Tall buildings of steel and glass scraping the sky. But New York City is also home to more than 600 species of wildlife. And in this episode, we're going to meet some of its most colorful. This is Wild New York. My name is Ben, and I'm an amateur naturalist and animal lover. I'm developing a real talent for this. White-tailed deer. Join me and my friend Christian as we embark on a very special episode to learn a little bit more about the wildlife that shares our home. If you've ever spent time in Central Park, you've probably noticed folks with binoculars or large camera lenses staring up into the trees. They're not looking for celebrities, they're bird watching. And this time of year, they're enjoying something really special, the fall migration. Migration is a part of many animals' lives, including humans. It's genuinely defined as a movement from one region to another due to the changing of the seasons. But there are other pressures, like extreme weather or food shortages, that can induce migration as well. More than 4,000 bird species migrate at different times around the globe. And in North America, you can spot around 350 different kinds of migrating birds. Tons of species migrate, from large and impressive bald eagles all the way down to the tiny hummingbird. Birds have been tracked covering as many as 16,000 miles in a single migration. While distances and motivations may vary, nearly all birds that engage in migration exhibit biannual patterns. Bird migration is heaviest around the big seasonal changes, spring and fall. In the spring, birds are heading north to breeding grounds, often traveling as individuals and sporting their brightest breeding plumage. In the fall, they take their time, returning south to warmer climes to wait out the harsher winter. During fall migration, there's no race to stake out territory or find a mate, which means species will often travel together in groups and linger when they can add some weight for the journey. So we know why the birds are moving through. But what makes New York such a hot spot for bird watching? The answer is its position on the Atlantic Flyway. The Atlantic Flyway is a major flight path for migratory birds. Following the East Coast, it travels through nutrient-rich and diverse environments from Greenland down to the Florida Keys. Most importantly, no mountains. And New York City is smack in the middle of it. Unlike other hot spots around the Atlantic Flyway, New York's green spaces are dense and compact, meaning observers can see a wide variety of species in a short amount of time. Few wooded areas in New York are as dense and as compact as Central Park's Ramble. And now that we know a little bit more about fall migration, let's go see what we can find. It's easy to see why the Ramble is on so many birders' bucket lists. We must have spotted a dozen species hopping through the undergrowth. And despite the more understated nature of fall plumage, some of these birds just couldn't help but stand out. It's strange to think how many of these tiny birds will soon be in Mexico, the Caribbean, or as far south as Ecuador. But when the snow starts falling, I'm gonna wish I was right there with them. Fall migration is an amazing time. There's a chance to see a whole lot of beauty and some amazing wildlife. It can also be a hard time to be a wildlife lover in New York. Window strikes, the collision between a bird and a glass building, are a major hazard for migrating birds. An early morning walk around one of our skyscrapers will leave you with a grisly reminder of some of the drawbacks of modernity. Every year, buildings get taller and shinier. Glass windows are all but invisible to flying birds, and the bright lights of the big city can disorient them as they make their way south. But this is not a story without hope. Pilot programs like Lights Out in Philadelphia are looking for ways to mitigate harm to migrating birds, and our technology to develop bird-safe glass while still being stylish and unobtrusive continues to develop. But the birds need your help too. Advocating for these kinds of changes is more crucial now than ever. Fall migration is an incredible time of year, and if you've ever wanted to get into bird watching, it's a perfect time to start. Grab some binoculars, a camera, and some comfy shoes, and head to your nearest local park to see what you can find. Always remember, never feed wildlife, maintain a safe, respectful distance from whatever you're observing, and always dispose of your trash properly. If you follow these steps, you'll be making sure that the birds have a good migration, and you'll be helping to keep the Big Apple a wild New York.